Hey everyone, welcome to another video. So in this video, this is part two of our simulator series of Speed Simulator. Today we're going to be doing saving data and stuff. So we're going to get straight into this off the last video. Um, make sure you go leave the last video some thumbs up and stuff like that because the last video hasn't done so well at the time of me recording this. Um, anyway, go, up to, go over to Serve Script Service in the Explorer, click Add, and now we're going to want to add a save data script. So just add in a script when it loads. Mine's frozen. Add script, and then we can rename this to when it loads. Sorry, I've got sore throat because I was just screaming. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just felt like it. Um, this can be called data store. This is going to save a lot of stuff, basically. So, the way this works is we're going to use vsync and stuff like that. So, if I was to show you our other project, which I told you as we go through videos, we'd have to keep referring to. You don't want the properties, you just want the explorer. Also, if you don't know how you get this, then explain this well last time. You click on view up here, and then click explorer. And you can get that. Then, uh, where am I going? It's data store. I don't know what it's called here, it's just called save data. But anyway, open this up. And, okay. Here's what it'll roughly look like. So it's not too bad. And it looks really complicated, but it's not too bad. Imagine this, but without that, uh, without all of the. It'll be quite quick. We'll start with just this top line here, though. We're going to do it one bit at a time so I can explain it. I'm just going to copy this whole script, so I'm not going to keep referring to it. But don't worry, I'll be typing it out with you lot. So let's just ignore this for now. We're just going to do this in sections. So I just so sure if you want, you can type all this out. Just ignore. This is what we'll be typing. I will type this out with you lot, but just ignore it. Stuff like that. Anyway, first of all, I'm just copying this so I don't have to keep referring back, so I don't really know how this works myself. We're going to type by saying local ds equals game colon get service. So we're getting a service off of what I believe is Roblox. And we're going to type in data store service, so we're getting basically the save data. Data store is um, save data, and then we do colon get data store. Pre and then this will just be um, whatever you want to name this. So if I was just to call this game, if we was to rename that to game 2, all data in the game across every server in the world would reset. So, you know, this has to be what you want. Unless you want to reset your data, name this what you want. In my case, I'm just going to call this tutorial. It's um, next up, we've got game.players. So once again, we need to do that thing which I told you about last video, if you remember correctly. Um, we we're talking about when the player is added to the game. This uh, will be called when the play when the player joins the game. Now we'll do a wait because we're creating a forever loop here. You could just do while wait do, but I'm just going to do wait is shorter. Uh, then here we go. Here's a bit more complicated stuff. Local player key equals id underscore dot dot player dot user id it's capital i by the way the reason for this is it's basically saying i right, say your user id is one uh, is that number it's basically saying id underscore two three seven six eight five four three five as an example that's why we have the id underscore here um if we drop down a bit local get saved so let's actually just clear some of this so um we know what we're doing. Local get saved um equals ds because that's what's up here. Gonna get async player key. Don't exactly know what get async does, I believe it's just um getting the player key. But I don't know. Just type that and you'll be good. If get saved, then <clears throat> save value dot value 
equals get saved one. Um, yeah, now we'll do an else because, yeah, local, let's just clear all that. Local numbers for saving equals, now this has basically just got to be, also for every value you have, you'd have to increase this number here. This will, um, be what your value actually is, so that in this case it will be, oops. No, not what it is, but save value dot value basically, and that's that. Um, we we'll, we will be adding more stuff to the leader stats in the future, but for now that's fine. Get async player key. Sorry if I'm not explaining this. I just I don't really know how a lot of this stuff works because I'm not a Roblox expert. Numbers for saving close brackets end and end. Now we've got that cleared out of the way. Oh, and then there's this bit which we'll just drop so we can type it ourselves. Why is save value broken? We'll fix that save value in a minute. For now, we just want to do game dot players dot player add uh, player removing sorry uh, colon connect function player. Now I believe this is just when the player leaves the game. This is what it'll, it'll save it. So. I'll, ds colon set async so get async is getting the saved value and this is setting it um id underscore dot dot plr dot user id comma player dot this is the actual value lead stats dot points dot value and end right okay what that's doing is it's setting it setting the value and this is getting the value now we've got a little problem up here which i'm gonna have to fix now if i was just to copy this what is wrong what isn't working so what is it save value we should have oh okay yeah that's why basically it is because up here we should have Local save value equals player dot leader stats dot points basically, and that should now save. Now, the only way you can test this is I'm just gonna save to Roblox. Uh, I advise that you just publish this and test it like through Roblox because it can be a bit buggy in Studio, it doesn't always work. But if you want to try it in Studio, well, I can't promise it'll work very well. But go over to um, File, and then click Game Settings. And then it'll load up a tab here. And then you'll click on Permissions. No, not Permissions, sorry. More, uh, security. This is it. And then click Allow stu Enable Studio Access to API Services, and then click Save. Um, now like I say, this doesn't always work, I get a lot of problems with this as well, because now my Roblox studio is frozen, if that happens, it's common, you'll have to restart your studio, or more commonly, your whole computer, it's a bit annoying, but, I will be right back, hang on, <laughs> Hi everyone, I had to reload up my studio, except I couldn't actually close it, so you can see I got the broken tab and the good tab here. Uh, next, you just want to test it, so click play. Um, and it should load. It won't, it might not work, just because it's studio. If that's the case, then um, you'll have to test it in an actual game. In and what will it do? It's gonna freeze. There we go, we gain our points, so I'm just gonna wait for everything to load on. We might get like 25 or so points. It should also load our speed, so I'll have to show you that as well. Could give ourselves points through the console, but that doesn't work very well. 
We can go to players, um, leader stats, and points. If you click on properties, you can change it to like 100 or something like that. Then it just resets, it doesn't actually save. So it's useless. So I'll get to a speed which is fairly quick. My Roblox studio will crash because that's what it's like. So remember, I had 111 points over here. Now if I was to restart the game again. Yeah, as you can see, it didn't load because obviously I'm in studio and so. It might just also have not genuinely saved our data store, so we'll have a look. No, it did. So if we file published to Roblox. Now if we head over to Roblox and we've got Speed Simulator tutorial here. I'm going to click on this little link here, the start place link. And make sure it's not this one, otherwise it'll just open up the game settings and stuff. Alright, okay then everyone, so now we're actually in the actual game. As you can see there's no Roblox Studio nonsense, it says Roblox up here. As we walk around, you can see we get faster. Um, there we go, now if I was just to leave like that. And rejoin the game. And as you can see, we've loaded in, we still got 63 points, and it kept our speed. So as you can see, our new data store works. So, that's that. So basically, that's this video done. Um, how long has the video been? Um, oh, there's multiple videos as well. So, now, that's the end of this video. Next video, we're probably going to work on um, decorating our terrain and stuff like that. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and bye.